This is the first total solar eclipse that's viewable from the continental United States in 38 years. Even more than that, it hasn't been since 1918 where a total solar eclipse path, uh, the path of totality, spanned the entire range of the continental United States. This means that a large portion of the population is in about a one-day drive to this path of totality where you can see a total solar eclipse. Uh, outside of that range, we'll still be able to view a partial solar eclipse. There are a couple of reasons why a total solar eclipse doesn't happen more often. They, they occur uh, every 18 months. However, because the shadow of the moon is so small, it's only covering a diameter of 70 miles. You have to be uh, in this perfect spot where the moon will block the sun. Los Alamos is interested in the solar corona because this is the origination of very powerful storms and flares from the, the sun. These uh, flares and coronal mass ejections can influence space weather and can cause a hazard for spacecraft and satellites around the Earth. Myself and other scientists at Los Alamos are actively trying to understand these risks and the processes that cause them.